using the Senesso MVP system. Hi, I'm Eric, the test lead at Senesso. Today I'd like to show you how to operate our new MVP line of machines. First, and probably most important, we have changed the way the group heads behave. The group heads now return to the center position when released, as opposed to remaining in whatever position the barista left them. This allows four possible actions at any time. A quick press and release, which we call a shift, to the left. A two and a half second hold and release to the left, called a hold for obvious reasons. And the same shift and hold to the right. Now that you have the basics, let's talk about pulling shots. We just put a new roast in the grinder, so let's check the program we've been using since last week. I'll pack a basket, engage, and begin the shot by shifting left. As you can see, we're in MP mode, so the machine will use the pre-infusion and ramp up time settings saved to our current program. MP mode still requires you to end the shot manually. Shift to the left to ramp down, then once again to end. The grind seems acceptable, but we should adjust the program for this new roast. We'll use M, or manual mode, to get a new baseline program. Hold left to cycle through brew modes. Release when M appears. In M mode, each step of the brew process is controlled by the operator. Shift left to advance to the next brew phase, or shift right any time a shot is brewing to stop it immediately. That shot looked better. Let's taste it to be sure. That's getting much closer. Let's save that shot and fine tune it in the controller. To save the last shot you've brewed, hold to the right. This is save mode. Shift right to change the current program or shift left to save the parameters of the last shot to the current program. We will save into the first program on the second group, but you can save to as many programs on as many groups as you like. Hold right to exit save mode. Now that we've saved the shot, let's pick up the wired controller and fine tune the parameters. We don't need to pull a new perfect shot, we can simply perfect the shot we've already saved. Press the up or down arrow to move from screen to screen, or press the home button to return to the temperature overview screen. We're looking for group two's screen here. As you can see from the first line, we're looking at group two, program one. Let's set the pre-infusion time to four seconds. Press the line button on the left corresponding to the setting you want to change and the value should start flashing. Press or hold the up or down buttons to change the value and then press the line button again to confirm. I'll set the ramp up time to two seconds, then move to the next page. On this page, you can see the total water counts the flow meter recorded when we brewed the original shot. From experience, I know I like a value around 280 counts, but as always, adjust to taste. Finally, let's set the ramp down to run once the machine is dispensed 92% of the total volume of the shot. This slows extraction at the tail of the shot and can strongly influence the taste and feel of a shot. Okay, we're done here. Let's brew this shot and check the taste. All of the parameters for this shot have been set the way I want, so I'll change the mode to VP and have the machine pull the shot from start to finish. You can see the machine starts the shot in pre-infusion under line pressure. Once our set pre-infusion time is over, it moves to the ramping pressure of 7 bar, then on to 9 bar pump pressure. The bypass system will re-engage for the last 8% of the shot, then once the correct water count has been dispensed, the shot will end. 
That was the best one yet. Let's save this shot across the board. Hold right to enter save mode. Make sure the correct program light is lit on each group, then just shift left on each group to write the information to the active program locations. Remember that you can save the last shot brewed to as many program locations as you want on any group you want. Finally, I'm going to enable a save lockout. This will prevent operators from entering save mode and accidentally saving over our new program. The save lockout is on the second level of menus. To get there, start on the temperature overview screen. Now press and hold the home button. With the home button held down, press and release the third line button, then release the home button. Now press the second line button to select unlocked. While it's flashing, press either arrow button to lock out save mode. Press the second line button again to confirm the choice and stop the flashing. Press the up arrow and select line two to return to the first level of menus. If someone tries to enter save mode now, the shot timers will flash the red arrow triangle instead. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy your experience with this Nesso MVP system.